today. It's Thursday, March 14th. It's great to be with you on on uh, on this Thursday here. Um, the uh, markets uh, sold off a bit today. We actually closed more than 100 points off of the low on the Dow, but still closed around 137 points lower, uh, which is about a third of a percent pretty much across the board for the S&P and the NASDAQ as well. Um, and the reason was that we got PPI numbers today. So these are the producer price index figures. It measures uh, uh, input costs into, into businesses and as a measure, one measurement of input inflation, essentially, which of course will ultimately work its way through to, uh, to uh, uh, prices uh, outside of uh, inputs. Um, the uh, PPI number was 0.6% for the month. Uh, it was supposed to be around 0.3%. So it's quite a, that was headline. So quite a bit higher on headline from expectations. Although we saw both uh, the CPI numbers also, uh, you know, a little higher. So I think it was somewhat expected. And, and frankly, I, I don't think the market, the market's reaction was all all that bad. Uh, frankly, from it. So I wouldn't read into it a ton. But the uh, the core number, if you strip out food and energy, was at 0.4 percent versus 0.2 percent. So also, you know, higher than expected. Um, but again, if you look at like a year over year on headline, we were about, uh, we're now at 1.6% year over year. It's up from 1% the month prior. So I understand that it's, that it's higher, but, um, but still we're talking a sub 2% number year over year on headline. If you look at core year over year, we're at 2.8. So granted, again, we're not at 2%, but you know, I feel like we're almost close enough for uh, horseshoes and hand grenades, as they say. Um, or we're working on it. We're working on getting there. And so while I've always said that the trend towards getting to 2% just won't ever be in a straight line, it, it just can't be. So there's just going to be periods of ups and downs, but I still feel like the, tri the trend is very much in, uh, intact. Um, there was a chart I put in there that I thought was, uh, was a good picture to show. It's the commercial, it's, um, uh, commercial real estate market. So it's showing you all different sectors in there. It's showing the, the run up into, uh, 2023, uh, and it's showing the, the pullback that we've had here um, since. And now, now it's starting to show the recovery. Um, so those things are, are good. We want to see a recovery in commercial real estate prices. Office in particular has been a topic du jour, more on the, uh, the loans running um, uh, coming due here in the next couple of years and having to be refinanced at higher interest rates with prices being lower. You know, having higher interest rate expense, you know, will, will tenants be able to uh, or, or owners be able to afford it? Those types of things, borrowers. <laughs> and my point is just showing you. Yeah, that's true. There's stress there. But just if you look at the amount of run up right leading into that, the amount of equity that was built up leading into price declines is quite protective. It's a big cushion. So price declines are never easy to go through. But it's not like this is 2006 and seven where there really was no cushion. And then you had massive price declines. This is a different animal. Um, and again, that's for non-Class A office. Class A is a whole different deal. And there's no, no stress that, that we see in that market at all. But I thought it was a, a, a decent picture to paint for you in a chart. Um, we also had initial jobless claims. The number's been around these low 200 levels for quite some time. And today was no nothing changed there. We got a 209 print versus a 218 that was expected. So I'll give that as the, the slight positive news on the day. Um, with inflation or, or PPI being a little higher on the day, you did see uh, interest rates move higher again. And we've been backing up here for the last couple of days. Um, we were up 10 basis points on 10, 10 year yields and closed at 429. So if that range was something around 410 to 435, you know, we're, we're, we're creeping into the higher end of it here. But um, but we're still in in that range. Um, retail sales for the day were a little weaker than expected. We were expecting 0.7 percent for the month, and we got 0.6 percent. Um, so not too big of a deal there. But the revision lower for January brought it to a negative 1.1 percent for the month of January. So it was more about the revision the month prior than it was about today's number on the retail sales front. But again, the, the showstopper, I guess, for the day was the PPI headline and markets did close lower, but but really not not a whole lot. I would call it modestly by about a third of a percent. So that's what we have tomorrow. We'll have Dividend Cafe in your inbox. We've got industrial production, which is a number that may show up somewhere. 
um, that we'll take a look at. And then, uh, of course, if I don't speak to you, um, I wish you all a good weekend heading into the weekend and uh, a good St. Patrick's Day on Sunday. So with that, I'm going to let you go here for the day, Thursday afternoon, and I wish you all well. Thanks for listening. Mm-hmm.